the item hasn't come through yet, right, Medic? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's 10.5 that that change comes through, so you can still go for the early support item. You can still rack up a lot of gold. You can just sit there and harass the set in lane, be incredibly obnoxious. And now this is basically becoming a a Juggalaf combo, where you just put everything <laughs> on top of the Olaf and you can never kill him because he's going to have AP shields from the Janna. He's going to have the Yumi Zoomies. And we're going to see Nemesis or Whippo play wow. the Yasuo alongside the knockup from the Rakan, the knockup from the Gragas, the knockup from the Se uh, G2, and that they can't afford to fall behind. And the fact that Fnatic made that swap happen, they can now set their sights on perks. Remember, no flash available. Whippo's going to jump in on the bottom side. You can see the charm coming into perks. Whippo uses the showstopper to get out. Yanko's tanking up the tower. Perks may be able to survive. And Whippo still alive underneath this turret. Let's switch down towards the bottom lane as Whippo continues to survive. But the prowling projectile will hit, and you have to think that he's not going to keep himself up alive too much longer. G2 get their first kill of the game. So a lot of things just happened and I kind of want to start with what happened in the top lane. The great thing about this play for alterations whereas Fnatic are missing one fast like alteration. Yeah but they've got themselves three sweepers as well. Yeah. Obviously going to be very important. Fnatic looking for a bit of an engage but G2's ability to disengage is yeah. strong as well. Yankos does of course have the ult. Pops it straight away. The showstopper's not going to chase him down. Nemesis not hit with a true shot barrage, just Whippo tries to put a lot of damage down. There's the Monsoon, they're looking to Titan take out Yankos before the fight really begins, but Yankos is still surviving. Perks now in the back line, he's gone down to about half HP. Whippo had to jump off towards the top side as Caps is trying to trade onto Nemesis. Nemesis gets the knockup, but Yankos has already killed Whippo, and now the fight really goes in here in earnest. The flash in from Survey Reckless dives onto the back line, and Yankos isn't going to be able to get him, he gets him! 3v2 now in. Oh, it's a 3v3, Mickey's still alive. Hit a sang low. Reckless self in the long jungle right now as Caps is on the chase. Reckless on a blast cone, but Caps is going to try and do what he can to chase him down. Nemesis and self, uh, sorry, self made and Reckless going to get chased. So if G2 do win a team fight, having a few members left alive, they will be able to get some of that standing gold off the map. This will, of course, give G2 the opportunity to secure the Drake. Fnatic, after finding that pick, are actually looking to contest this. Showstopper coming in, Cap secures it, but that's the face breaker. Yankos, no ult, remember, he can't get out of this as the exhaust comes down. Fnatic able to survive, self made with the perfect timing on his stopwatch, gets out alive. And that's two more kills to Fnatic Perks. Looking for a flank to find. Oh, looking for a collapse onto Cap. self has got a great flank here. They're looking for Caps. He's got Flash. He dodges out from the explosive casting there. Yankos is on the chase. There's the zoomies. Caps down to half HP. Here comes the final chapter, but he's not going to land onto self made self trying to get away. In the end, he will fall. Caps secures it. Good collapse there from G2. Knowing Whippo's in the bottom lane, they could take that fight. And it ends up being a trade of Flashes for the junglers, but Fnatic join the fray. Fnatic actually choosing to rush the Baron here. Caps uses the Scryer's Bloom up towards Whippo. Look at how quickly that Baron is going down. It's already down to about 5,000. You can see self made quite low here as well. Caps might look for that True Shot Barrage. Yankos going to jump into the pit. He goes on top. He steals it! Yankos! So much weight on his shoulders in this game, and he manages to get the steal. Charm going on to Perks here. There's the final chapter as well as they look to lock up Whippo. But G2 just wants to disengage. G2 get out with the Baron. But what was this from Fnatic? They just coin flip a Baron there. They take the gamble and lose. And now G2 have the Baron and can just hold the line. They may have lost Yankos, but this was a worthwhile trade for G2 Esports. Incredible steal there from Yankos, but as you say, Fnatic were the ones to flip the D2, and they came down tails this game. G2 will now use this advantage. Remember, they've only taken one turret this game. There are so many towers for them to reap the benefits of this Baron. Such a surprising gamble. That's Hitler's like might be dead. Hitler's like dead. Yes, he is in he fact He walked dead. into the knocker. Fnatic is just collapsing. What is going on? After they tried to force that play in top and they got punished, it feels as though, like, they, they're feeling all this pressure. Like, we talked about the scaling. We talked about short in the late game. G2's comp is going to be difficult, but Fnatic... Rattling out the damage on the Ezreal is going to be able to jump across the wall here. Fnatic... Probably wondering what went wrong over the last couple of minutes because this is a trip and a fall from them. The Baron, the Baron is yeah. what went wrong, Medic. That, that, that is but exactly... I mean, like, the decision-making <laughs> that led to it. Why did they do it? Uh, well, we'll see if they can come back from a pretty devastating moment for them. Of course, they do still scale. They are still even on gold. You've got the Infinity Edge now complete on Nemesis. But we'll see that steal once again. So let's have a look at it. How close was this? Let's get some super slow-mo. Ulti comes through. Burst. 13 HP. Oh my word. That is so unlucky for self-made. I, I wonder. Oh my word. I actually wonder as well whether Yankos used Ragnarok mid-air so he wasn't knocked up by the Steel Tempest that came from Yasuo. I wonder. Now, I mean, maybe, someone smarter but... than me will look at it second by second and see exactly if that happened. But still, Fnatic went for it.
didn't clear out vision, didn't get deep vision in the G2 I mean, they gambled, jungle. They gambled. They gambled. And, and this is the thing. Now, the Baron is obviously going to wear off. G2 got a lot of gold for that. They they equalized. Yeah. So let's now... Wait, we might not have time to flip over as Fnatic's looking for a fight. We're going to look for the flank here. Ragnarok comes out. Nemesis is going to take a little bit That's of damage as well. The final chapter is already being used. So you say, very early there, still gonna get knocked up. Nemesis there, looking to knock up onto Perk, they all dive in, the killer instinct from Reckless, trying to take out one, the showstopper gets in, and they jump onto the back line, there's a charm as well, and Fnatic, maybe they find that fight as they catch all of G2 alive, but look at the healing coming out from the zoomies, Yanko's still alive in this fight, and Nemesis having to run for the hills. G2 just healed up by that Yumi. How does no one die in this fight? It was so close from both teams. I thought Perks was gonna get one shot, he ends up walking away. I thought Nemesis was done for, but he ends up surviving as well. At the end of the day, it's G2 who have priority over the mid lane. They walk away with the inhibitor. Oh. And this game is now... You can feel how the momentum is so heavily shifted in favor of G2. The Cloud Drake is up. They're going to make their way towards it. A lot of ultimates were used, but it looks like Fnatic not going to be in a position to contest. They need to catch that bot wave. And G2 is just too quick to take the objective down. You could see Mithy with his head in his hands, his former team beating his current team, taking the inhibitor in the mid lane. Of course, Fnatic still ahead in gold, but we'll see this fight once again. So, Whippo is already behind, Ooh. and G2 is Ooh. setting up for a collapse onto Reckless, but he ends up just flashing away. The ultimate comes out early from the Yumi to disengage. Nemesis can't close the gap. And then a very early ultimate from Yankos, and at this point you're thinking, okay, this is actually a pretty good situation from Fnatic, and I love what Stealth Blade does here. Ulti onto the uh, Akali to allow Nemesis to get out and Whippo positions in a way where he's now soaking up the damage because he can then use the W into a fantastic charm but the healing from the Janna ultimate is what swings it the positioning from Wonder was so good there because he's able to sustain the team up combined with the Yumi as well and we have to acknowledge the fact that I think Perks used stopwatch twice he had the stopwatch yep. on top of having the Zonius as well which bought so much time which is why his damage is so low in this fight it's what a fight of millimeters, fight. though. What an intense it's a fight, fight of millimeters, because Wonder channels the monsoon, Whippo then uses the face breaker, and Wonder is just at the edge of yeah, it, just. doesn't get caught by it, would have cancelled the channel, would have removed all of that healing, and now Fnatic are the ones on the front foot. Now, look, Caps is in the top lane. He needs to reset. Fnatic is in a great position here to just break into the base. They can look to dive if they want to. They're going for it. That turret's going to fall very quickly. Caps not here, anywhere near in time. Perk's looking for the flank, but Caps is on his way. Yumi's on him as well. G2 might look to try and fight this before Fnatic can really disengage, but in the end, Fnatic just walk away and live to fight another day. They didn't get the inhib, they only got the inhib tower. Now, what's up next? Baron, 30 seconds. Fnatic will want vision around this. They made mistakes around it already once this game. You can see Hillisan getting a couple of deep wards in. That's what you want. However, with Super Minions pushing in mid, it's so important. Oh, they spotted perks. Yeah, they, they did spotted spot perks. perks. They have, G2 have no idea Camps that Whippo is sitting in this brush right now. Camps has QSS Flash. If Whippo goes for it, he can QSS Flash. He does it. He jumps across the wall, but Reckless already going in and with the face breaker. Oh, Caps able to flash away. He gets across the wall. Redemption coming out as Nemesis jumps forward for the fight. Fnatic trying to reset. Caps jumps across. The charm's going to land here onto him, perks. but here comes perks. Looking for the live under the back line. Is Attack is already dead. Perks drives straight in, but knocked up by self In the, a moment, in a heartbeat, there's the True Shop Barrage coming out as well. And G2 now have a man advantage. Stelmate jumps back in. Perks alive. There's the Monsoon. Stelmate's going to go down. And the Monsoon just heals up them all. Reckless next on the menu. Only Nemesis left alive. And Caps is staring him straight in the eye and saying, come at me. This could be it, Medic. Look at the death timers on Fnatic right now. G2 have the wave. They have all five members. And one team fight could be enough to decide the game. Fight as you like. In the LEC, everyone beats everyone, and it's not Fnatic today. In the end, it is G2 who look to take the win. Nemesis trying to do what he can to defend the Nexus Towers, but he's exhausted. Pops a stopwatch, Caps jumps across, and Nemesis is next up for the chopping block. In the end, he's going to go down, but he's still doing what he can. Hillisang's respawned, but there's only one Nexus Tower left alive, and G2 will kill Hillisang in a heartbeat. G2, in the end, after a back-and-forth game, will take the win over Fnatic and win it. They claim top spot in the LEC. What an intense game. So many of these team fights were decided by such small decisions. The Janna healing in the late game was just so difficult to deal with. You know, we didn't talk about it, but 
The healing reduction was needed for Fnatic. Selfmate did have Morellis. I did have a look at it. I didn't mention oh, it. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're definitely right. You're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. My apologies. I did just see that, of course. But my words, so yeah. intense these final fights. What a game. Like. But like you, you have to focus on the Baron, man. Like yeah. that, like Fnatic had such strong control. Like at the